Hello and welcome back to Biotope Aquarium Simulator. And we are at the discus, heckle discus tank. And I'm still debating on what to do. They are so hard to stress level 7. That's okay. You just don't want it to be above 10. But it just seems to me they're, they're where they need to be. And the plants as well. Stress level 12. Just a little hot. But if we turn the temperature down, then these fish will go down to the lower end. So we either need to get different fish <laughs> with a little wider temperature range or different plants. These fish are expensive. I would hate for them to die. Temperature's got to come down a little bit. But if it goes down too much, then yada yada yada. So we need something with the plant with the temperature a little hotter than just 27 degrees, I think is what it is. So let's go to the store and just kind of look and see what we got for plants. Uh, what is this? I think it's that. <clears throat> Grows well if planted in moderate light as well as in shaded area. So it likes cool. Do we have anything that likes hot? <clears throat> Grows best in neutral water with moderate lighting. These plants do not tolerate poor water conditions. Ooh. That's the Carolina fanwort. What about these guys? What do you all do? Native to South America? That could be. Oh, cool rivers, medium light. Okay, nope. What about you all? <clears throat> Uh, it is a good idea. I've only got twelve dollars. I'm not buying these, am I? I'm not hitting by. Uh, it is a good idea to plant the Madagascar lace on singly as a focal point. Needs lots of light and regular additions of sun. Oh my god. <clears throat> I think that's doing well in a different tank. Uh, assuming favorable conditions, plenty of light, good uh, supply, nutrient-rich substrate, temperatures not constantly above 25. Nope, won't do it. Maybe discus fish are just, see, below 25. And then the grass didn't do too well over there either. Either discus are hard to manage or these plants are hard to manage. But these plants aren't hard to manage unless they're in a tank full of these fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sell these fish. Stress level came down a bit. Their stress level. Was that on 8 a minute ago? I think it was on 8. Damn. They heard me talking about them and now they're chilling out. That was 12-1. And I still don't know about this. Should it be on this side, this side, or up high, or over here? Don't know. Seems to be doing well when it's on this side of the curve. Well, crap. We're selling them. I think we bought a lot of these plants to put in here. Spent $12, $12, $12. Is that how much they were? No, there were five. Okay. So we probably spent $35. Let's, um, let's get rid of the discus. Uh, put you in the container. Move you to the container. Goodbye, discus. But you all were fun, but we're going to save some electricity here. Okay, the big tank, nothing in it. I might come back and put all my <laughs> neons in here. That'd be sweet. So let's go to the store. We want to sell a healthy discus. What do we buy them for? 50? Yeah, we bought them for 50. So we're losing a couple of bucks.
that that's 50 bucks a fish, man. If we could have. <laughs> Maybe I just took the plants out. Maybe I just, just took the plants out. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. Now we did it already. Oh, she's even cheaper. Okay, so we got screwed at the fish store. So we have four tanks now. Let's take a look. Tutorial tank. Uh, are you all ready to have babies at all? I thought one of you were. Oh, we have to get the pH down. That's right. We have to get the pH down. Let's check the history. <sighs> pH is coming down. <clears throat> So we'll just we'll just keep letting it come down gently. We added the wood in, that's gonna bring it down. So once it gets below six point five, then they'll be ready. What about you guys? Are you all doing anything at all? You're an adult. Where's the other guppy? Checking the top of the tank. No guppies. Oh, down here you are. Here you are, little girl. Here you are, little girl. 91 eggs. Why won't you all hatch? Do I have to have a special... You've got two things that can be hatcheries. Why won't you... Maybe you just have to be in a tank all by yourself? Well, then that would mean these should be in a tank all by themselves. What about you black neons? How are you all doing? Stressed out a little bit? You're an adult. Stressed out a little bit. You're an adult male. What about you, little girl? What about you? You're a juvenile. What about you? Ooh, 178. Yeah, you won't lay eggs either. What's up with that? I mean, you're ready. Do you have to be in a tank by yourself? <clears throat> 22. Once that other tank over there cools off, we'll take some of these lone fish, put them over there, let them get saturated, and see if they'll have babies. So, this one's doing good. pH is coming down. And all three fish are ready to have babies, except the neons are the only ones. And they were the first ones in here. The other two won't produce maybe that has something to do with it and it should because you don't want other fish eating your babies oh yes this is this kind of my favorite I like that other one too this is a really good one we took a lot of fish from that other tank uh, did we or did we buy I think we may have bought some more fish from here Let's see how they're doing. Uh, juveniles. Okay. So the pH has to come down. Has to be below 6.5. Oh my god. It's 7.47. So we're going to need some wood in here. What is their pH doing over the past hour? Climbing. The pH is climbing. Do I put more fish in to make the pH go down? They poop more? I don't, I don't know. Take, take plants out. pH. How do you lower the pH? You add wood. How do you lower the pH when you've already got wood in here? Water change? A water change. Yes, a water change. But you're not even ready. You're not saturated enough. Uh, whoops, sorry. I like this tank, though. This is a, a good tank with the black substrate. The little, the one little thing. Less is more. Sometimes less is more. I thought he was going to go down there and jump into gold. How are you doing, little buddy? Oh, you're almost saturated. You're, oh, no, you're... A, zero percent and you're a juvenile okay so they're not ready 
but I do kind of like this tank. Next tank. This is our Serpe Tetras. They're doing pretty good. Are you all ready to bay bay? 34 days. Male. Male. <gasps> I'm ovulating. I'm ovulating. My fish, I'm, I'm doing it. 64 eggs. Let's watch her. She was over here, I think. It's one of these two right here. One of these two. All, all the boys are going over there. Look, 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 look. He's chasing her. Uh, this video is not yet rated. Uh, parental discretion is advised. Look, 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 look. That is awesome. There she goes. There she goes. I'll be dog. That was awesome. They did a good job on that one. Those males were skirting around. So that means these other ones. Okay, you're juvenile. I think there was one over here. <gasps> Ovulating. Here we go. Let's watch, watch, watch. I think it's... I don't even know. Let's watch these Let's watch these males and see which one they're sniffing around. It's her. It's her. It's her. No, it's her. It's her. Who is it? It's her. It's her. You spawned eight new fish. Where are they coming? Where are they at? Where are they at? I don't see them falling anywhere. They were right here and right here. Right here. I totally missed it. Yep, totally missed it. Do we have another girl in here? Okay, now that was that was the one that just gave... What about you? Oh, they got hearts on them. Check it out. They got hearts on them. That means their eggs are full of love. I don't know what that means. This is cool as shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 64. Here we go. So we've had three. She's all full of love. Was that you over here? Oh, 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 she was over there. Look at her. Check it out. Check it out. We got four fish. So we got eight, four, and four. Sixteen fish. We have got 16 new fish. I can sell those at any time. This is... Oh, I'm so excited. Could y'all tell I was excited? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we got some grass growing. We got some fake plants. We got the red serpe tetras in here. I don't know if we have any more females or not. Yeah, we got one over here with a heart. I'm going to click it. Ready, here we go. And the heart's gone. So, but she's over here somewhere. She's over here. Oh, back here in the back. She's back in the back. And spawns seven. So, 16 and seven is, what, 22? Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. 23, 23, 23. And 23 fish. Let's see how much they're worth. Oh, we can't see how much they're worth. Because we have to take it out and put it in the... Should we just let them... we got four, four, seven, and eight. Oh, we should wait till the end of the week. That's what we should do. Wait till the end of the week. How many days is it going to take you? Their DNA is 41 on the eight. Oh, 15 hours? 15 hours, so tomorrow we'll have until they're hatching. Let's see, are you all going to be, what's your DNA? Ooh, they'll be worth some money. Those seven will be. we got 16 hours. What about you four? Your DNA, 44. And my first clutch is 50. 16 hours. I don't know if they call it a clutch or not. My first, the first one. So, hold in the space bar, of course, lets you pick uh, things that are in your, so you can pick them easily. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Our Serpe Tetras have had children. 
There's a lot of boys in here, only a couple of females. Perfect, that's money. That's money. How much were the certified Tetris to begin with? Three dollars. So, you know, if we make dollar fifty-two off of them, heck yeah, that's thirty-some $30 dollars we'll have there. Plus that, at the end of the week, well, we'll see what they do uh, in the next 16 hours. And they're all by themselves in this tank. Are you a male? You a big old boy. Yeah, you're a big old boy. Okay. Okay, so everything had to be, everything was spot on, greater than 25. I think we did, I think we turned that heater up, yeah, a little bit. What's the water temperature? 25. Very good. Next tank. I never realized there's a little heart on there. Of course, I don't think I ever pressed the space bar to, uh, to take a look. Ah, uh, yes. Hour and no hearts. Holding the space bar gives us no hearts. I know you all are ready. You all are more than ready. What about you boys? Still juvenile. That's alright. You'll grow into it. I know you want to be big boys, but you'll grow into it. It's a big tank. We got our rocks in. They seem happy. Uh, no stress. Everything looks good. I was, I was a little nervous about cichlids, but um, maybe you just have to keep them for so long because you always get a juvenile male and a fully ready-to-go female. And uh, keep everything good. Let's see. Yeah. A few plants and more rocks. So I don't have a whole lot of rocks in here. And I could probably do a better job than this, just dropping them in the back of the tank. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's not a bad looking tank. I don't like the way the grass grows through that red rock. I don't even like that red rock. And then these two rocks were stacked on top of each other. I don't technically like that. I angled these so that they would be up. But um, we threw some wood in the back. and Yeah, I don't know. We may... We may try to redo some of this stuff. What kind of uh, substrate do we have? We got gravel instead of sand. Do you think we should try some gravel? Yeah, it's rock, right? It's just, it's more rock. And they always disappear and she went disappearing in it. There she comes. Where's the other one? Did I trap her under all the... Nope. Or him underneath all. There we go. So we've got some rock. A little different color in here, I guess. A little different. Maybe we should put that bright candy. Candy coated ones in. So this one looks pretty good. Looking at my tank. I just added some uh, gravel to the bottom of this tank. And maybe we should have took a snapshot of what, our, what everything was before we, um, yeah, here, before we went and altered it, but no matter. Okay, boys, we're going to leave you alone. Grow up. And then our, that is our last tank. So, back to the Serpe Tetras. And here is the tank. Oh, yeah, everything's kind of up toward the front, isn't it? We can move some of this stuff to the back. I've got this kind of cornered and this kind of cornered in the back in the front. So, well, we may leave it there. We're growing some grass. We've got a couple of grass here. Oh, maybe a couple of these plants in the back. Give them a little bit more because they're doing so good. Maybe these. Their stress level's good. Ah, I'm getting some more of that. Java fern. Let's go to the store. She just had some babies. Let's get her some flowers. Um, 
job burn. Yeah, there we go. Uh, two, three. Now, where do we put them? Ooh, you were big already. He's a big old girl. Are you big? Oh my god, these things are huge already. Over here, yeah. Oh, let's turn them a little bit so they don't all look the same. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think about the uh, Serpe Tetras. Serpe Tetras. That looks too... That looks organized, don't it? Looks crappy. I didn't think they would be that big. Let's put him in the uh, <clears throat> move to container. Let's uh, take a look at it now. That looks good. They look like cherries on the wall. Look, it's like strawberries. It's my strawberry tank. You know the green stem on the top of a... <laughs> or you find strawberries hanging off of a... It's hard to say grapevines. Off of the vines. Uh, let's put that, oh, in here, that's what I was going to say, but we turned all this stuff off, these guys are going to choke out, oh my god, I'm so stupid, uh, but let's check the size of it, uh, yeah, oh yeah, those are, oh my god, those are big in that other tank, and just, small in here but we have to we have to do this because the water is going to change that's possible I can just keep these because they're all healthy or I can sell them back but the water level is going to change. There's no plants, nothing in here now. I can even take that wood out, and this thing out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Does this act like a hatchery too? It does not. And my thought was, the tutorial tank, there's only one fish hatchery this one, the wooden barrel. It acts as a fish hatchery for one breed of fish. If I was to put another one in here, would it allow two breeds of fish? I think this acts as a hatchery as well. So I'll put that over there. It acts as a hatchery. Okay, so these guys are going to be hatching out of there. Check our guppies. No, it doesn't work for that. What about you guys? Do they get pinpointed? To no. So. I don't know why, but I'm going to take... i just trying something. There we go. I guess we'll have to put these in their own tank. So we'll let the water pH and temperature drop in that other one. And uh, I don't even think the pH had to drop, did they? Should I take the guppies out and try them in the big tank? It's too hot for them right now.
here and here pH look how easy look at the temperature range and the pH I think they'll be fine I'm gonna grab these two guppies and shove them into the um, big tank Or other guppy. Guppy, where are you, guppy? Where's my guppy? Oh, there you are. Let's take them and put them in this big tank here. Probably put the, put the little flowers back in now. Uh, let's start our air pump going. Light. Air pump. And we need a fish. A guppy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We've got us a guppy tank. Oh, he's a big one. Here's a little one. Here's a big one. Here's a big one. And a little one. And a little one. And a big one. And a little one. Okay, we'll let them get saturated, or whatever they have to have to do. That's a big old tank for some guppies, isn't it? Info and control. Just don't know why you're not breeding. Maybe we'll get us a couple of more guppies and throw in here. Water's a little hot. Ninety-one eggs. Wait a minute. That's a girl. And that's a boy. Okay. Yeah, they're adults. You all are adults. Yeah, we need some more fish in here. So, uh, we don't have anything in the container now. We're good to go. And I'm going to leave it here. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. we got little fish down here.